we're back on. Earlier this week, 90 Day Fiancé viewers watched anxiously as Jeffrey Peschel got a surprise visit from Varya Melina after moving on. His new girlfriend isn't just supporting him, she's saying that the long list of women accusing him of brutal violence are all better scorned liars. On 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Days, Jeffrey Peschel struck out with Varya Melina. He proposed, she said no, he flipped out, and not for the first time. Jeffrey said that he was over, even though Varya wanted to continue to date him. He flew back to Knoxville, Tennessee and left Varya in Russia. He stopped replying on her messages. Between TLC's meddling and Varya not realizing that she had dodged a bullet, she opted to surprise him at home. Varya flew out to make the surprise trip and, as we all saw play out in the episode, she stopped by his house. He answered the door and she hugged and kissed him to his astonishment, because Jeffrey had already moved on with his longtime friend Mary Wallace. Obviously, that conflict will still play out before the season ends, but Jeffrey will not take part in the tell-all because he was aggressively disinvited. He was arrested less than a year ago for the brutal domestic assault of his then-girlfriend and is awaiting trial for that heinous attack. Worse, she's only the latest in a long list of ex-girlfriends and ex-wives accusing him of unthinkable violence against them. This week, Mary made a shocking claim in an Instagram comment that was screenshotted and shared by 90 Day Fiancé blogger Joan Yates. There are no victims aside from Jeffrey, she claimed. Mary then insisted, these women are nothing but scorned women. That would be a troubling claim about one ex, but Mary seems to be accusing at least four women of making up lies about Jeffrey. As any expert could tell you, this is an extremely common attitude for a man with Jeffrey's history's latest girlfriend to have. According to the book about abuse, titled Why Does He Do That?, the new woman in abuser's life is often aggressively on his side. She will not only defend him and believe his side of the story, but openly condemn his ex or exes. This plays directly into the man's hands. Abusers rely upon manipulation, and they tell sob stories about the whole world being out to get them and their exes being crazy. In many cases, they even make themselves believe it. They may take even longer to show their abusive side to a new girlfriend, so she may spend a great deal of time believing that he's a victim. When he does display his monstrous qualities, shame at the things that she said about his exes may take it harder for her to speak out. Jeffrey has a lengthy criminal story. Last June, his alleged attack left a phone destroyed and his then-girlfriend's blood smeared through multiple rooms of the house. Fortunately, the police report says that she was able to flee the house and run to a neighbor's for safety and to call 911. His trial should have already begun, but unfortunately, the COVID-19 pandemic means that his court date keeps being pushed back. Jeffrey, nicknamed Prince Joffrey by multiple recappers in reference to the bloodthirsty and deranged Game of Thrones character, won't be at the tell-all. He has announced his plans to do his own tell-all for fans. Yes, this man somehow has fans. We have to assume that this will consist of just him talking into a camera and saying whatever he wants for hours. Regardless of the things that he has said, we hope that Mary remains safe. Perhaps the current media attention will help her fare better for longer than his exes did. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.